Hi, beautiful people. I was thinking yesterday and I was like, what can I do tomorrow, you know, to have a really good day? And I was thinking I should throw a party. I haven't been to a party in a while. And so I'm just thinking, this is the perfect opportunity to throw my perfect party with my favorite foods, with my favorite things for me, by me, and the guest will be me. And so I'm very excited about that. I'm just gonna take you through the process. We're gonna go ahead and uh, get some coffee because I actually really need some coffee. Might even get something to eat real quick or we'll save it for the party. I'm not sure, we'll think about that. But we need to get some party supplies. We need to get food. We need to get maybe a piñata, I don't even know. Maybe, I, I mean, that could be really fun. That could spice it up a little bit. So we need to get a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff on the list and we're about to go do that. It is currently 10 o'clock and the party will be starting at three or two. 30. How about, let's see. First things first, look at my pants. How funny are those pants? Those are some funny pants. I'm pretty drained right now. I don't know why. I'm pretty tired, and so I'd really enjoy a nice cup of joe. I just realized that I forgot my shoes inside, because I hate shoes. I hate wearing shoes. So I guess I gotta go freaking inside and get my shoes. Okay, we're at Party City. I was gonna go get coffee, but then I realized that the line was like 20,000 years long, and so I was like, you know what, Starbucks Easy is not... It's just not worth it. Uh, I decided that Starbucks is not worth a line of what looks like 15 to 20 people almost. So I'm just gonna go in town to a different coffee shop. I was gonna go here but because it was closer, but then I was like, oh, uh, well, I don't wanna wait that long. I'd rather just get on with my day and yada, yada, yada. We're gonna go into Party City and I'm gonna look for as many decorations as possible. I wanna keep to a theme, but I'm assuming that I'm probably not gonna keep to a theme and I'm probably just gonna be like super scatterbrained as per usual, but I'm gonna see how it goes and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be great. Maybe rainbow themed. No one is here, thank God. What do people even get for parties? I don't throw parties. I've never done that before. Oh, oh it's a rainbow. I think I'm gonna get it. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, you better believe I had the best luck of my life. Are you kidding me? Look at this. I got this little hat that I'm gonna wear for the party. I got a little disco ball, I was gonna get a big one, but then I was like, that's really expensive, so maybe I'll just get the $5 one. I got these little poppers. It's like a real party out here, I swear. And then I got this backdrop with these fun little things that I could take pictures with by myself, for myself. And then you better bet that I spent $10 on this. Are you joking? This is so me. Right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go get coffee and we're gonna go get some snacks for the party because of course we have to get snacks and we have to get a cake. So I need to go find some place that I'm gonna be able to get a cake. So we're gonna do that. I'm now at the grocery store so I'm about to go inside and get uh, the cake and whatever snacks that I can find that I might need and want. I'm actually getting more and more exciting as the time progresses. I'm just also equally as tired. My allergies are driving me crazy today of course because you know, we gotta love those. It's a gift from the universe. You you know for just living so I love when the universe just gives us gifts like that it's really really helpful and really nice and I love it yeah we're gonna go and we're gonna do it and we're gonna get it done let's get it let's go I'm trying to stay hype Ugh. all right so I didn't find a cake and I didn't find really um, much of any sweets in fact but I did need water so I got a water for myself because I desperately needed water and I decided I'm gonna have these little vegetable it kind of just looks like dumplings we're gonna eat those for the party because it's my party so I get to eat whatever I want and I've been craving those because they're so good and I got vegan feta cheese um because I used to eat feta cheese just straight out of the container because I if I say because one more time I swear I'm going to punch myself in the face I desperately needed that <laughs> more than I could tell you more than I could tell you I also got flowers for myself because what do good guests do for their hosts? Um, get them flowers when you arrive at the door. Duh. Hello. So no one's ever gotten me flowers. So I've decided to like make it a point because you know, you can't be waiting for other people to do things for you. You got to do them for yourself. I just decided I'm going to start getting myself flowers a lot more because why wouldn't I? Hello? Look at them. They're flowers, okay? They're adorable. But I got the feta cheese because I am obsessed with it. And I used to eat feta cheese like back before I was vegan, just straight out of the container because I'm just a freak like that. <laughs> so I found that one like a couple months ago and now uh, my life will never be the same because it tastes so good. It tastes almost exactly like feta cheese. They changed my life with that. I don't know, it should be illegal, it's so good. Believe it or don't, it's freaking delicious. Okay, all right, bye. So I got a coffee. Um, I hope the light isn't absolutely the worst thing in the whole entire world ever. 
So I got a coffee and it's delicious and it's the vanilla almond milk latte. Um, I haven't got one in a long time and I'm back on it because this thing is freaking delicious. If you can't tell, I needed that so bad. It was not even funny at this point. Okay, so this is part two of trying to find a cake. <laughs> I don't want this party to be an actual party. Like I want it to be legitimate. Everybody's gonna be talking about this party for the rest of the millennium. All right, everyone is going to refer to this party as the party of the century, baby. We're gonna find a cake. We're finding a cake. We're manifesting. Finding a cake. Finding a cake. We're gonna find a cake. So I couldn't find a pre-made cake, which was the goal. I found pre-made cupcakes, but they were like super chocolate, like super chocolate. And I don't know, it takes like a mood for me to be in a chocolate mood. Like it, it takes something else. And honestly, like the older I get, the less that I like chocolate, which is really strange and disappointing because it's kind of magical and beautiful and I would love to love it. But I found these pickles, my favorite type of pickles in the whole entire world. But I found a cake mix. So I'm just gonna use this cake mix and oh my God, I'm talking so fast. And then I got this confetti icing or whatever. So we're gonna do that. Got some egg replacer, cause you know, I ran out of that. The party starts at 2.30. We get home at 12.30. I feel like we might be able to finish the cake in time for the party. But the good thing about throwing a party and no one showing up is that you don't really have to have anything together by any time, cause it doesn't really matter. But it does, it does matter. It matters for me because it's not for other people, okay? It's for me. And I want this to go smoothly and perfectly. Is that the case? Obviously not. You know, that's not how life goes. <laughs> It's not how life is. We're gonna do what we can with what we have. I haven't been to a party in so long. I haven't thrown a party in so long and I haven't been the party subject in so long. Here is all the stuff that I acquired. Let's just ignore that. I was cleaning out my purse and there was just an array of change. I got these little hats for my dogs. Like how adorable would that be? I got a bunch of stuff, which means I'm gonna have to, you know, probably take, you know, uh, probably like 30 minutes or so to get everything ready. And I also have to bake the cake, which honestly I should probably get started now because I'm going to regret it if the cake is still hot and I'm trying to ice it and then the cake icing is just gonna melt everywhere. Okay, we have a lot to do and it is 12.27. What time did I say I was gonna get home? 12.30. What time are we home? Three minutes before. Um, the coffee definitely helped, if you haven't noticed. And I also didn't get anything to go inside of the pinata because I kinda just wanted to beat it. I just wanna beat something. You know, just as a little gift to me. I'm not a violent person by any means. I I identify as a pacifist. Okay, I've never thrown a punch, never anything like that, but all I'm gonna say is if I could, I would. If I could, I would. If, it, if I had that in me, I'd be using that all the time. Just not on people or animals, obviously, because that's, that's where we draw the line. Okay. Hey guys. All right, so first things first, Preheat the oven. I'm feeling a little, I need to, hold on, I need to take a moment. I just need a moment, I just need a moment. <sighs> 350. Oh, hello to my fridge. Say hello, fridge, camera, camera, fridge. Y'all are meeting each other. I have a confession to make. I actually hate whisks because I feel like it's like they're hard to clean and that's annoying and if there's anything I hate doing, it's dishes. So if any of you guys wanna come over and do my dishes for me after this, just let me know. I really appreciate it. buttered a pan since back in the day. Whenever I was bored as a child, um, the options kind of were like, you would either bake, make little arts and crafts, or go outside and play. That was pretty much like the preferred choices that my mom would have wanted us to do to spend our time. Ah! I've always been a terrible baker. I've always had a really hard time following instructions because I kind of just want to like do my own thing all the time. I binge watch all the Harry Potter movies again. Best decision I've ever made in my whole entire life. But it's really crazy to see how much like your perception of things changes whenever you watch movies that you used to watch as a kid and then you watch them as an adult. Ah! Overall, 10 out of 10. I also binge watched all of the Twilight movies again, which I mean, can't say that it hadn't been very long since I watched those because I love watching those movies. I was just like in a rut, feeling awful about myself, feeling awful about life, you know, as you do every so often. Um, but we bounce back, we always bounce back. A little one, two, one, two. Do you ever read something and then not realize like what it said actually? So you kind of just read something, wasted your time, and now you're here. Uh, that's how I am right now. What is next? Did I do everything? All right, let's just, let's mix it. Let's get it all. 
You see, that's why I hate whisks. What are we thinking? Oh. I can squat. I can squat. Nice. Look at that. How professional does that look? There's a little rainbow. There's a little doggy. There's a little bunny, some glasses. That's really, that's hot. Like I said, no one's ever gonna forget about this party. This is going to be the party of the century. Aliens are gonna hear about this. That's all I gotta say. A little rainbow streamer moment. Look at that, Oh, oh. I know, right? <laughs> Professional. All right, now all I have to do is blow up balloons. I just set up the party. I'm kind of exhausted already. But we still have a party to throw and we still have a party to enjoy. No backing out now. I got these balloons like a long time ago, so they're finally coming in handy. Okay, so my dog's just freaked out for no reason, which is always terrifying when they do that, because it's just like, it makes me think like there's somebody about to break in and I'm about to get murdered. Okay, so that's not working. Wouldn't it be funny if I was an alchemist and I could just make this into helium? So if anyone needs someone to put a party together or, you know, get anything situated, don't call me because I will, I will mess it up and you will hate it. Oh, I need to get ready, actually. I still need to get ready for the party because I can't be looking like this. I can't be wearing these. So welcome to my very sad closet. I know, I just have so many clothes, it's kind of insane. <laughs> wow. Planning a party is no joke, friends. No joke. So I guess I should just brush my hair a little bit. Okay, you know what, this is good enough. My stomach just growled. Freaking starving. Beautiful, perfect, magical. I took the cake out, by the way, forgot to mention that, of course. Okay, wait, okay, wait. <gasps> oh my god, it's perfect! Oh my god, I'm so excited. Ah! We have 30 minutes till the party. Honestly, 30 minutes is perfectly enough time to get all the food ready and everything ready. Oh, guess what time it is, baby? <gasps> Wow, who could it be? Oh, I can't open the door all the way because then my dogs will run out, so. Oh, they're coming in. Oh, for me? You shouldn't have. They totally should have. <laughs> it was expected. I must put these up somewhere. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> hey, everyone. So what's the first thing they always do at parties? They eat. Let's eat, everybody. We did it. We made it on time. I never thought we'd get to this moment. Let's have a pickle. So delicious, so good, it's insane. They're so good. I feel like 10 times calmer now. The hat has different settings too, watch, look what. Hey bitch, what's up? We've been joined by a fly, that's cool. Do you see the fly? I don't know if you can see the fly. You can go on literally whatever you want. Just not the pickles or the cake, okay? I'll get you your own plate if you want it, just ask. I think it's cake time. Oh, I need to move these because crisis management. We don't want those catching on fire. I'll be right back. Not that it's my actual birthday or anything, but don't you guys just hate the birthday song? Do you hate it? Because I hate the birthday song. It's so awkward to be sung happy birthday. If I ever have a birthday party again one day, we're not singing the birthday song. I think we're gonna do the Australian thing. Or at least I think it's the Australian thing. So I don't age too well. Don't quote me on this. But I think we're gonna do the hip hip hooray thingy because I like that so much better because it's so much faster, so much easier. Oh my God, why did I save the worst spot for last? Okay, we're just gonna... Come on, beach. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray, okay. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Ow, it's hot. This whole party is just a fever dream. Another plus of me not actually having to share this with anyone is that I can just kind of go straight in. All right, let's go. It's a little rough around the edges. The inside of the cake is really yummy, but the, the edges are kind of gross. What do you say we beat the crap out of a rainbow? What do you say? In the festivities of it all, why don't ya? <laughs> He's so not into it. Let's do this thing. Am I gonna break my fan? Oh my god, look! Let's get it! I'm a very non- 
non-violent person, like I said, so I try not to be violent and stuff, but things happen, people change, what can I say? I think I'm gonna hang this on my wall. Love wins, love who you love. Who you love, who you love, because life is beautiful. Sending you so much love, and you're fabulous and beautiful and amazing and incredible and perfect the way that you freaking are. They're, we're all doing good, we're all fabulous and beautiful, and I don't know, I just wanna give you a big hug, especially if you're upset. I hope you're not upset. Uh, no, I'm making myself sad, okay. biggest mess on planet earth to clean up now that I'm done with my party. It was a success if I do say so myself. Alright, so we're gonna go. We're gonna catch you later. Say bye!